am I going to learn from someone telling me not to do it? Hell no, because I've got to do it. I've got to go through that process to learn it. I'm going to get back up regardless because nothing's going to stop me. Because that's the version I want to be. I, I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. I'm learning. But if I make a mistake, I'm going to get up and get back on that horse and carry on riding. So get back on that horse. Keep riding. Don't let anyone stop your gallop. Least of all, yourself. You have a decision and you can decide to be the best version of you today. So I hope you enjoy part two because this is what it's all about. And I will see you in the next one. You know, I mean, I've never really rode a horse, but you get what I'm saying, right? I mean, I'd like to ride a horse. Why not? Why not? I can choose that version of me that just takes to riding a horse like duck to water, right? The world, the, 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 uh, our world is full of possibilities. If you decide you want to step into that version of you and what, what I want through my life could be totally the opposite to you. I, I, I know I'm, I'm bringing these things into fruition that I actually want. So you know what? I, I want to I wanna be respected, I want to be loved, I want to be an inspirational speaker, I want to be that, that person for the people, I want to be that healer, I want to be, be that helper, I want to be in service, I want to be that role, but I've got to step out of the old version of me to be that, right? And this is what I want to get over to you. And once you get over that hurdle of you've got your affirmations down, you're stepping in, you're making a decision daily, it's becoming so much easier now for me to see myself in that role, for me to see myself as a businesswoman. Am I going to be that, that, that version of a businesswoman that I didn't particularly aspire to? No, because I'm going to be the version that I want to be. I want to learn how to speak in front of people because I want to be an inspirational speaker. Why am I building this business of nutritious lives? Because I want to be in service. Because that's what I'm put on this earth to do, is to help, is to heal, is to provide knowledge to, to people so they can be in their best live their best life and not be in anxiety, not be in depression, not be in those, th staying in those stuck low moments. That's who I am. So that is who I'm going to be and, I, and it's a decision daily. But I, I, I just wanted, because I went off a little bit on a tangent, you know what I do, but I wanted to just talk to you about how inspired action, once you... Um, and make that decision and you're walking into that new version of you and you're in that state of the wish fulfilled and you're in that state of I'm, I'm gonna I'm, maybe I haven't got all this money in the bank now maybe I haven't got that love of my life now but I know it's coming once you get there your subconscious right is going to start helping you make new decisions from that new version so this could look like, you know, you, you, you're you driving uh, down the road and for some reason you get this urge to turn left when you really should be going straight or right. But, you, but your intuition is telling you, Jen, go right here. Oh, okay. And you start to not even question it because you know your, your manifestation journey requires you to listen to your inner voice and your guidance. Or it could be that you, you know, you're walking past a, a coffee shop and, and you don't ever stop at a coffee shop. But for some reason now you get this urge to stop at this coffee shop. And then there's an opportunity, a business opportunity or your SP, the love of your life or your future best friend who you, you're going to have all these lovely adventures with traveling or what, whatever. They're in there. You know, this is what manifestation, inspired action, listening to your intuition is all about. So 
again another excited uh, video and I haven't cried I, f I felt like maybe I, I would cry because you know I do spontaneous and, and I'm getting very close to that time of the month so I thought oh Jen you're gonna cry on this one but I haven't I haven't um, the other thing I, I wanted to just add before I wrap this video up is d don't be afraid to um, use expression to be that new version of you like don't be afraid of what others 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 let me put my tooth back in others perceive as you showing your human emotions i think it's really important um again like i've i've always known that i've got so much within my person like i've always known that but but i I put myself in this box and I, I hid myself away because I, I, cause I, I can't say that in front of them and I, I can't express that in front of them. And now I've actually, I'm, I'm that version of myself going, sorry, I'm going to swear, fuck that shit again. You're going to express who you are in that moment because we've got all of that inside of us. Like I'm, I'm loud, I'm shy, I'm, I'm, uh, confident um fun uh, th there's nothing better than i love laughing uh, rolling around laughing and um i'm expressive i'm tearful um I i've got so much emotion within me and and that's what part of being human is all about is we have these emotions for a reason to be able to express them and if if people are so stunted, because this is what it is, a lot of people are so emotionally stunted and so fearful of being the real them that they they hide in this shadow, you know, and never they they can never possibly break out of this box to live their authentic life because they are so fearful to to just be them and use the. The human emotions that have been given to us, I'm not doing that anymore. You know, there's there's moments for being angry. Am I perfect? Hell no. I get angry. I get frustrated. It was only yesterday. I, I won't go into detail, but you know, I was having a service with a certain person, and they're they're supposed to be a professional person providing a professional service, and it was despicable you know like customer service now i get wound up with that sort of stuff all the time because i'm an old-fashioned girl in the sense that there's a certain way to do that i'm the customer i'm always right this is you know whether that's a limited belief belief i don't know but i believe there's a certain way companies should provide a service manners please and thank yous you know all that is extremely important to me and I got so frustrated with this rubbish service that this person that promised, that promised a great service, didn't provide. And I, I, I kind of told them about themselves. And, and whereas previously I'd have gone, oh my God, like you totally expressed your bit of anger and frustration there. And what? I felt like I needed to in that moment. It was, it was necessary in that moment, right? And then there's other moments where I want to express being sensual, sexual, fun, you know, whatever the, the, the moment calls for. And I'm going to express it. If I'm feeling it, I'm going to express it. And that's not me saying that I'm going to be a total arsehole. Because, I, I, you know, what's my intention? My intention isn't to be that person. However, in those moments, if I want to express... I'm going to express and I'm going to feel the feelings and say to myself, it's okay because you're human and you're allowed to, right? And if you've got people in your life that are telling you you can't express that, you, you haven't got the right to express that or you shouldn't make that decision for your happiness because I've made that decision and it didn't turn out very well for me. So it's going to turn out the same for you. Really? Really? Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to do it anyway. Or maybe, maybe it's going to turn out that, maybe it did turn out that way. But the only way that you're going to learn is by doing it yourself. You're not going to learn from other people. Everybody's always going to say you shouldn't do that. 
or do that because this happened to me. Guys, we've got to tune that stuff out. The only person that matters in this scenario is you, your happiness, your life, your intentions for your life, stepping into who you want to be. So again, another emotional one. I just felt inspired action to do this one. and But I, I, I hope you understand that we've got to start intuitively listening to what we want and and i'm i'm on i'm on hand to help right i'm not perfect i'm i'm someone who's learning who's growing who's evolving but if you want to do that also because what you've been doing hasn't been working you're anxious you're unhappy in your life you want to make changes come over to me come over to me and we can we can work out these positive changes incrementally bit by bit so you can start being who you were meant to be whether that's you know to to be a sailor you know is that is that even a thing now to to be an artist uh, you know to paint to Take yourself off onto your own desert island and start foraging and living your best life. Whatever it is, whatever it is, just make that decision that you want to do it for you. And, you know, if you need a little bit of help and guidance on this manifestation journey, then I'm on hand. So thank you for listening today. Please like, subscribe, click the little bell icon so when I upload new videos, they come straight to you. The sun shines out today, so I'll make the most of it, guys. I'm sending lots of love your way, and I will see you in the next one.